the mintage of regular struck 1967 Roosevelt dimes is over 2.2 billion examples struck. Therefore, they are pretty common at circulated grades. Only in MS-66 full bands, they become difficult to locate. In MS-67 condition, it becomes scarce. Anything above MS-67 full bands is considered highly elusive and make really good money in auctions. According to PCGS, in MS-68 condition, Roosevelt dimes are worth $1,800. Welcome back to Coinans. Today, we will look into highly demanded and high-priced 1967 Roosevelt dimes. So hit subscribe button below this video and let's get started. This is 1967 Roosevelt dime at Mint Day 68 with full bands. Coin displays perfectly detailed design elements with no distracting contact marks or spotting. On the northwestern rims, we see weak doubling on the color, possibly happened due to misaligned dye. On the reverse, if we pay attention to the torch, we will see weak but full separation of upper and lower bands. This beautiful time was sold for $1440 in 2020 at Heritage Auctions. Moving right along to this special strike dime from 1967, great at mid 68 deep cameo by PCGS. A stunning white on black appearance greets the viewer of this superb deep cameo. Crisp detail is seen on Roosevelt's hair and the vertical lines and bands of the torch. Untoned surfaces are virtually pristine. Sold on January 9, 2014 for $9,987.50 at Heritage Auctions. Here is another rarer coin, 1967 Roosevelt dime. Triple strike, second and third strikes, 80-85% of center. Grade at mean stay 64 by PCGS. One of the subsequent strikes is located at the top of the primary strike, where a second full date is evident on a verse. The other is at the lower left and shows the top rear of Roosevelt's head, also on the verse of a primary strike. Sold in 2019 for $1320 at Stax Bowers. I must confess that I didn't know there were FS101 double diverse varieties among Roosevelt dimes, and this coin is one of them. Great as about uncirculated 53 by PCGS. Doubling is mainly seen on Liberty. Sold in 2019 for $600 at Stax Bowers. Now let's check out our circulated dimes. One to the right is slightly off center struck. It displays broadening on western rims, while one to the left displays its massive slanting gauge starting at 2 o'clock, extending till nearly 8. I'm not sure whether it's error coin or post mint damage. Coin is tarnished mainly around the rims. That's all folks, if you liked the video make sure to hit thumbs up. Take care.